Hey guys, it's Ellen, and guess what we're doing today? <laughs> we're back at it with that abstract again. Painting a wisteria tree this time. Yep, just like the cherry tree, we're doing wisteria tree. Um, I thought it'd be fun to do something, you know, another one of these abstract trees again. Uh, I naturally I go over this step by step, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, also, please don't forget to th hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed again. Uh, also, check out my Patreon at Add Free Videos, Traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays. That's not on YouTube, and with traceables and reference photos, and a live stream on the top tier uh, the third Saturday of every month. You know, it's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Um, yeah, you know, just something like that. If you can check it out right up here, boop, in a second. Also, check out my um, other channel. You can click, you can see the the link in the description box, and on my homepage, I have another channel that's acrylic. So check it out. I'm starting to do more of those again. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, for this tutorial, we're going to go over some supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, taped down with some scotch magic tape on a thick piece of cardboard so we can lift it and play around with it. Uh, I'll be using a couple of brushes. I'll just, just this one inch flat crash, craft wash brush. Uh, Princeton 8 long round velvet touch series. I may be playing around with my number 10 Princeton Neptune series. Liquitex uh, acrylic ink and white, titanium white. A sea sponge spray bottle to activate or spray or move paint around and we have water jars up here and paper towels close by and the paints I go over them as I use them so wisteria trees you know similar we're going to do something similar to the cherry trees this time wisteria so it's you know although those ones were pink and purple this would be more purples and blues with some greens that's what I want to do this time just change it up a little bit so those were more hot tones and do more cool tones and have fun with that so I'm going to start off again just by wetting the paper. I'm just going to go all the way down. Oh, the paper size is about, about an 8 by 10 by the way. Just getting this nice and damp. Making sure this tape is stuck down here. Okay. See it's got a nice little, little sheen to it. It's pretty damp. I'm going to mix up some colors. Um, got ultramarine blue here. I have this color called bright rose. You mix the two together. You get a nice purple. See a nice purple. If you mix a different color blue, like this uh, peacock blue here, with the pink I get a different purple see more of a blue blue tone and we're gonna start mixing up some greens I've got the cabin yellow light I mean excuse me deep and pick up blue to the green just a nice green maybe I'll add a little burnt umber to that turn it down I do want to keep it on the brighter side, so I maybe go back and add some more yellow. Ooh, get a little more olivey, which is fine. And I can make some deeper green with just adding some Prussian blue. I'm going to water this down. And some yellow. A little blue. A little brown. Too much brown. Okay. So just like before, I kind of splattered in some pinks. Let's just splatter in some purples, some blues. The ultimate blue itself is just a nice color. So let's just start going down. Going this downward movement. Because you know, um, Wisteria have this cascading blooms. Grab some ultimate blue and kind of tap that in on top. Why not a paintbrush? Already we're making something really pretty. Cascading it down. I have to get some more paint mixed up here. Some pink. 
Cool. Pink and blue. Get it really wet. See how loose and wet that is? Now this might have dried down here, which I think it did so fast. <laughs> Get it work kind of fast. I'll just spray it. Let's see what happens. Really want to work a little bit fast, you know, in this kind of situation. I'm getting a little pink. Somehow they got a little muddy. I'm gonna try and brighten that back up. Now it seems that it, the paper has dried a little too much. So I'm just gonna go back in here and put some water in. Don't worry if I mush these colors around. It's not a problem. Because we're going to be mushing them around anyway. See? Looks kind of pretty already, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm going back in again. Okay. Mixing it purple. Try to make them a little bit bigger on top. Just want this cascading kind of purple. Maybe a different purple here. Maybe just do some ultramarine blue. I feel like it's already creating that tree, cascading tree. See, I'm just tapping in some ultramarine blue. And then I'm gonna just add some of this white rose up here. I'm just gonna tap that in too. Already on my brush. Giving this wisteria tree get a little thicker with the paint, less water up here. See, get a little darker. Same thing with the pink. See? I'm on the same brush. See? I'm just kind of mixing both in the same brush. So you're gonna create that fun purple. See, hardly any water in this on the top. It will move around because it's kind of wet up there. Tap, 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 tap. This is like the most satisfying thing ever. <laughs> I'm trying to do it closer in a straight line going up and down. Grab some more of that purple. More of a pinky purple now. I'm going to get this wetter to make it lighter. See, it's already instantly creating this wisteria tree. I mean, just by tapping. We're going to do some more fun stuff to this. This is just the beginning. Purple. And grab some of that pink. And it should bleed nicely. This is like an abstract wisteria tree. I'm just loving the way it's coming out here already. <laughs> Getting this pink loose. Ooh, just go crazy. You can't help it, right? And the ultramarine blue. Get a little thicker up top. And grab that pink, a little thicker, which means less water. And I'm getting it really dark on top. Snapping, 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 really close. By the way, you know, if you have anything nice around this area, I would suggest you take it away. <laughs> it's creating this lovely cascading situation. Now, I want some greens down here. So we got some greens. I'm just kind of blend those in down here. Get some more yellow and some peacock blue. It might have dried, so you might have to go and play around with the water again. What are we doing with the green in here? I 
because we're just splattering paint right now. Put some green up and over in here. You can just take your brush and kind of push it around. Grab some yellow, some blue, kind of push the screen around and down here. We've got the number 10 here I'm using of the Neptune series. Just pushing the color around. We have more yellow. Putting some yellow in between this. Some green. Oh, I didn't mention that I use an old credit card too as well. Putting some green in between. Just kind of tapping it. Now, if you didn't want the color up here, I didn't mention also I went sea sponge. You can kind of lift the paint, which kind of we did in the last one. Maybe you just want that really light right there. You don't really want that to show as much. You know, we've been playing around with this greens and yellows and blues and purples. I'm lifting it up with the sea sponge. I'm going to go back in with my bigger brush. Ultimate blue and the pink. Oops, a little muddy. I'll clean that. Don't want to make the color muddy. Get that purple back in there again. So I started, you know, just to play around with, see if I liked the green over on that side, but I don't. Just gonna keep adding some more of this pretty color. Pink. Again, up in the cascading part. Going down and up, down and up. Now it's kind of looking more blobbish because it kind of blended together, and that's when I'm going to go in and take some of the paint away. Purple, pink, purple, pink. And some blue. Okay, a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper with the pink. Okay, I'm going to go in, put some water in here. And here. Now I'm going to take my acrylic titanium white. I'm going to play around splattering some of that. I'm just going to grab an old brush. It should repel it in the areas that are wet. I'm going to up here in the corner. You can do this with salt. Do it on the bottom too. It's giving it that magical look. I do feel like the greens could be a little nicer and prettier down here. So I might go back in here. This is my preference. And add the green back in here. Grab some of this peacock blue. Just to change it up a bit. It's a little too bright. Kelly green kind of color. I can, if I didn't like it so much, lift it up. Turn it around. Spray with the spray bottle. Let's see that bleed a little bit and see what happens. Hmm, interesting. 
and strips. You can just lift it up with some paper towels. Great in this kind of funky look. Now remember I talked about in the, the first one, the cherry tree, you can kind of go in and use your sponge to lift up some areas you weren't happy with it. Or take a, uh, I had a brush that I used. Of course now, I can't find it. <laughs> just a little harder, you know, it's a harder kind of bristle brush. This is just a generic kind of watercolor, but me medium brush. And put some water on it. Well, see it's drying and kind of lift up the paint a little bit like this in a circular motion in some areas that you want lightened. It's still very damp, so you can, right at this point, go in and place in some nice deep color cascading bloom. So I'm just tapping this in with the ultramarine blue and add some of that pink. If you want it still darker, kind of just cascading down. We can go back in again and do that when it's dry darker blooms kind of cascading down because it's still very damp it's going to kind of spread putting some darker ones up top around the white see that just kind of tapping it I'm tapping ones down here. That's just the ultramarine blue mixed with a little of that pink. I'm going back over here. I'm standing up and I'm painting this by the way so I can see if I like it or not. I do want to put some more pinkish type of blooms down this way. Okay, so the tree is kind of like this wonky, kind of wiggly tree. You can take your credit card and start to scrape out like where you want the tree to be painted. So it can have this kind of, see, kind of wiggly wonky. I'm gonna put some of the branches just like this coming out. So you see that? I scraped up and kind of wiggled over to the left and a little bit down here. We'll be painting that in, but I'm just scraping it for now. I'll do a bigger scrape down here. Don't want to scrape too much of the paper out. So that's going to give us a guide of how the tree is going to look. We're going to kind of still play around with, you know, taking some paint out and adding some paint in. So here's that brush. You can kind of just do that wiggle movement, take the paint out. It's good to have the paper towel close by. You can still use the paper towel too in small pieces. Kind of lift up some areas. It's all play. Sometimes I just don't know how it's going to come out and that's fine with me. It's not lifted up enough. I'm doing a circular motion. Paper towel. See that? Circular motion. I'll have my paper towel close by and just have the paint lifted up. Circular motion, paper towel. We're getting there. <laughs> this is the fun part, guys. Circular motion, paper towel. You can splatter. You can remove pa paint with paper towel. Remember I kind of cas try to cascade downward the, um, the splattering because wisteria is kind of this cascading downward tree. All the fun when you're doing abstract. And just figure out where you want these 
luminescent like kind of circles. And they kind of sometimes lend themselves to show you where they want to go when you're spraying, when you're splattering the paint. You can kind of figure it out. I'm going to put some out here. You don't want to overkill too, by the way. You want it to be kind of subtle. Right. I'm kind of noticing that mine are gearing towards the bottom of the tree, which is fine. It's kind of where the green is. And they're not perfect circles. And they don't need to be. Grab another piece of paper towel. That one's kind of really had its day. This is a nice big one I can get out of here. Oh yeah, I'm liking this already. The fun you can do, guys. See, I'm gonna move one up here, one big one up here. Just like that. All right, I might finish up with this and call it a day and let some of this just dry naturally. I might lift up some more paint. And then we're gonna put in the the tree and tweak it a little bit and we'll be done with this. Also before you go, um, I've added a little bit darker, maybe into this darker green. I'm just putting it against next to the scrape that I did. Just adding a little bit so while well, it's still damp. Put a little brown in here. Just so you can see the highlight of the tree. See? A little bit next to that tree. We're gonna be painting on the tree in a minute. So I'm just adding a little green, like the mountain here on the side, the land, right? And we can just kind of wash it a little bit so it kind of blends, just add a little water. Okay, so the tree itself can add some burnt umber and some neutral tint. I don't know why I'm still using this brush, I'm going to switch to my Princeton 8 long round. This pa the paper is still fairly damp. We haven't dried it yet. I just start putting in this color. Very concentrated, minimal water. And we got this. We have the lines scraped from the credit card. We're just going to follow these lines. And add the, the dark browns black colors into the tree. I'm gonna water down this color. Just like so, all these little wiggle lines. You can break it up. We're just gonna follow those lines, like I said. And you can put little tiny ones up, falling in between, going downward. And then the tree. Kind of have the, the stump kind of go this way. Curve left and curve right. And going back in and adding the deeper tone. Really just minimal water. Because it's still damp and I don't want it to bleed. Just adding little branches here. It's really simple. You don't have to get really branchy with this. Just going a few more branches. Crisscross branches this way. Now this is bleeding a little bit here. You can clean off your brush to kind of lift some of the paint. So it stops the bleed. Same thing here. You could wait till it's completely dry to do this. I just waited till it was damp. And go back and add some green. All right, so now we're gonna let this dry a little bit more and we'll do a little finishing touches and call it a day. 
All right, so everything's dry. If you want to go back in, get some more deeper purples, pinks, you can just kind of tap in. See? Just really just kind of tap, tap, tap. Make some blooms, cascade down. Tap, tap, tap. Going downward. You see how I'm doing this downward motion? Like bigger and then smaller as we go down. Bigger and then smaller. This is if you wanted to add some more. Blooms going downward. It's up to you. I mean, I kind of like the abstract quality of it all. But I'm going to go by the branches. Just going to tweak, adding a little few more. Blooms going downward. All the fun stuff. The wisteria tree would do. But I think it's pretty much done. All right, so let's remove the paint. I mean, excuse me, the tape and see what we got. This is always the fun part. It's like a little mini frame. It's already created. Last piece. Oh, goodness. Voila. Now you can just tweak the tree at this point, putting in some nice solid foundation here. If you want to add some grasses, see? Maybe you could have done this before you've taken off the tape. Probably would have been smart, but that's okay. Just a couple of tweaks with the grasses using the Princeton 8 long round, some greens that we have here. Do, 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 do. And the sound effects. But that's pretty much it. Let me put some little grasses in here. Da, na, na. So now we have our wisteria tree next to our cherry tree. Voila! I hope you guys enjoy this fun little abstract tree. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section. Have fun painting. That's what it's all about. It's supposed to relax, supposed to splatter, scrape, take it, remove, all that good stuff. So enjoy your day and thank you for stopping by and I'll talk to you soon.